Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna teach you how to start up your Discord.js bot. Okay, so first of all, you will need to download Node.js because this is like an engine that will like uh, run our bot. So you have here, I'm running on macOS, you can download like both of the, like wh whatever you want, the current one or the LTS, so packages and all of that. So this is really important to download, make sure that you download it. Okay, so oh, uh, the second thing is Visual Studio Code. Uh, you'll need also to download it because this is the app that we're gonna use it to code our bot. There's other apps that you can use it, but I prefer and recommend Visual Studio Code for users. Okay, yeah, so the third website is Discord slash developers slash applications. So you'll need to come over here and you will just make new application, name it whatever you want, like tutorial bot. Okay. So after that, you'll be over here. Bot, then add bot. Yes, do it. Okay. Now you will need to create a new folder. Name it whatever you want. I will name it tutorial. Bot. Okay. So after that, you will open this using uh sorry you will open a terminal on windows it is called uh, command props so you'll come over here you'll press cd space tutorial what this will let us go in that uh, folder so the second thing it is npi in it then enter okay so if this didn't work for you re restart your bot because probably uh, the node.js didn't uh, like uh, how to say it, like run in your PC and those so here you'll get package name enter 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 all is enter okay so if that's okay, right? Yes. Okay, now you close that. You'll find this in your uh, folder here. And make sure that it doesn't have any other thing. Only the package.json for a uh, file right here. So you need to open Visual Studio Code. Okay, so after you open it, you'll go on here, open folder. Then go to your bot folder and open. So uh, here you have all of your like here you have package.json. This is where you'll see like your bot detail and models. So uh, you'll find it like like this. So what you'll need to do you, you can do this with two ways the first way is to go on here terminal new terminal then write npm i discord.js uh, dash dash save okay so this is actually download us the model of discord.js that we are gonna be coding with so i stands for as install if, so, uh, if someone don't know that and you can use this command in uh, terminal or commands props like just go to your C, like CD, then your file and use it but it will be easier and more simple if you do it here so let's run it okay it is here okay as you see here it is downloaded in here and we got this file as well and this 
you must have this it is called uh, node models okay if if I go in here you see every everything okay that's really good so now what you have to do is go to here open a new file okay so new file call this index.js you must name it like that okay so okay guys so after you create the index.js file you need to create another file and most of the people name this config.json okay sorry geez. so you can name it whatever you want but it must end with .json and like there is some people who name it like bot settings but I prefer like I prefer to name it config.json okay so you will come over here and open those like that like then type token the points then this so you go to your uh, bot info like the, the uh, developer application here here so you go to bot then you will see this this is a really important part so um, you'll find here token uh, this token is like the email and the password of the bot okay so don't give it to anyone like for real if anyone have this token they can log in using your bot and they can do whatever you, they want so if if someone saw your token just regenerate it so let's now copy it then go over here and paste it in here so don't worry guys i will regenerate it so if someone used this one nothing will happen so you'll go to index.js and you type const discord sorry like that. discord equal require then brackets then here discord dot j dot js okay then put this at the end does this actually uh, let us uh, use, log in at like use the model? Okay, so let's make a note. When you type like that, that put a note. So let's make it like that. Require. Okay, uh, the Discord. Dot JS model. Okay, so second thing that you need to type is const let me go here const config equal require brackets so here you will type this then dot slash config dot json then put this so uh, you don't, uh, there's some people who will ask me why you didn't put it like that because if I put it like that uh, they will search like they will connect the config.json but they will search it in model uh, node model but if I type point slash it will get it from here normally so let's put the note to let you know let's let us connect us to the config dot json file okay so this what i am typing in here uh, those are notes the, the those are aren't like code when you type two slashes that something this is not a code this is a note like normal it don't affect your uh, code so uh, the third uh, thing that you want to put in here is const client wait what client equal okay so the third thing that you want to put it in here is const 
line equal require brackets then you uh sorry equal a new sorry new discord uh, discord dot client then brackets and this and type here the same disable wait what did I type disable everyone then two points true okay so here this will let us like create a new discord client and there's some people also that name this bot so like they type like bot dot on but uh, the other people who put in here client they uh, they use it like this client dot on okay so let's actually put a note to let you guys know and let's leave spaces like right here like that here put the note so uh, create um, a new discord client okay so after that you need just to write client dot login then this config dot token and then put that over here and there is one option here so what this actually does it is connecting our client that means our bot to the config dot token that is here go in here config then token to let us log in to our bot so let's type that node login to discord with your apps token and they use it like that because if you just like if you just took your sorry your token and type put it in here it will be like anyone can see it but we, we don't want people to see it because they can like this use our bot and destroy it so you'll just type config dot token okay so now all you have to do is go over here oh uh, oh two then choose bot copy here paste it in here okay uh, so after you open this you'll go in here choose your server wait where is it wait what yeah here so not robot okay yeah so uh, after you come over here all you have to do you see here the bot is offline right so we need to get that bot online so you type node space dot that enter okay now let's go check bot is online here you see it so now if I type anything like that clear anything it will not respawn okay so this was today uh, videos so tomorrow uh, or the next video I will be showing how to um, like how to put like comments and stuff and probably I will add uh, events as well like that status that can go over here like you know something like that so uh, that was it I hope you enjoyed
please uh, please subscribe and like and leave a comment down below uh, like what you want the next video to be and you will go uh, in the description you will find the source code the source code mean uh, like the code of the bot where you can just copy and paste if you want but I prefer you watch the video till the end every time because uh, because that will help you to understand what are you doing to not mess up anything so that was it hope you enjoyed and ciao